The moment she touched him, Amy De Leon said she felt no pulse. His eyes were rolled and saw foam coming out of his mouth. But that didn't stop De Leon from trying to save the man's life. There was like a human chain bringing in a body with floating device. And there was a girl yelling to the cops, like trying to get their attention, like he's right here, he's right here. It was supposed to be a relaxing Sunday along Beach Access 5 on South Padre Island. But for Amy De Leon, it was anything but tranquil. I was maybe 10 feet away and the cops were just doing crowd control. Nobody was with the victim. That's when Amy, who is four months pregnant, decided to take matters into her own hands, using skills she's known for the last eight years as a lifeguard. He said, do you know the victim? And I told him, no, but I'm CPR certified. And he, he brought me to the victim, so I just began doing compressions and... By that time, he was already foaming and liquid was still coming out of his mouth. Amy started compressions. Minutes later, two lifeguards arrived, but her work wasn't done. Amy says she had to coach one of them through the CPR process. And he's like, um, I'm scared. And I told him, it's okay if you're scared, just do it. You're trained to do it. You need to do it. So he put his mask there. And when it was ready for him to do it, he did him quick, like, quick breaths. The three worked together until EMS arrived, but not knowing what happened to the person she attempted to save weighed on her mind heavily. I didn't know until I saw the phone coming out of his mouth. I figured he might have been, but it wasn't like for me just to not, like, just to give up. You know what I mean? It wasn't enough for me just to stop and not do anything. Amy says to prevent these tragedies, she feels the county needs to do more, possibly even add more lifeguards to the popular spot. Amy tells Action 4 that it's really important to keep an eye on your party when you go to the beach and to not go more deep than what your feet can touch. At this time, the identity of the man who drowned has yet to be released. Live in the studio, Valeria Ponte, Action 4 News.